Guten Morgen, kia ora, and welcome to another 3 minute Thursday. Have you been enjoying Affinity Photo as much as I have? But is it driving you mad that there's no classic undo redo button and you constantly have to go back to the history panel to slide back and forth between your mistakes? Today we're taking a look at Affinity Photo for the iPad and four ways how you can undo, redo and all that good stuff. So let's do it. So first things first, let's bring some proper undo and redo buttons back into our main editing UI. To do that, you're going to go back to your main view where you can see all your documents. And in the very top right corner, you see the little cogwheel, which will take you right to your app settings. And then you head over to interface and you can see pretty much here at the bottom that you have show undo and redo. So you're just gonna tap that. You can see now in any type of document, you have two little buttons here for undo and redo. Super useful. And the best thing is it works across all the personas but be careful with that let's say you're in the export persona and you haven't made any changes because well you can't make changes in the export persona and you hit undo you'll still undo the last change you made in the develop persona or photo persona so be careful with that so that's obviously the best thing to have you're welcome but while we're here i want to show you the history tab as well because it has some pretty cool features so let's say you're in the develop persona and you make some changes to your edit you can obviously undo and redo down here but you also have this little history tab that shows you every little thing that you have changed so far so you can switch back to the point where you set the vibrance switch back to the point where you set clarity and so forth but what's also really cool is you have this little slider down here that you can slide left and right to go through all your changes and you can see how your photo developed that way that's really cool and once again this is available in all the other personas okay and next up you probably guessed it command c yes you can command c through all your changes just like you could on the desktop lovely okay guys and finally since we are on an ipad we have touch gestures and what you simply can do to undo is a double tap just like that double tap double tap double tap double tap to undo and redo is a three finger tap it's as simple as that all right there you have it four ways to undo and redo in affinity photo for the ipad when you first thought you actually didn't have any way to properly undo on the ipad now you have more than you have on the desktop if you learned something today and this made your life better in any way shape or form please hit that like button because well youtube likes that and if you'd like more videos like this one consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon so that you don't miss the next video thank you so much for watching vielen dank fürs zuschauen und bis zum nächsten mal